Welcome to the IP Office, IP Office Text video on using the web manager for your own personal phone. It's called IP Office Self Administration. So, what you do first is you will get your IP address for the PBX or your phone system from your administrator and then enter it up here on the screen. You don't have to put the index HTML, just the 192, 162, whatever those numbers are, pop that in there and then press IP Office Self Administration continue to the website. You'll probably have to use Internet Explorer or you can probably use Chrome. Once you get there, you'll put in your name. Now it might not be your first name space last name. It's probably going to be your first name and then your last name all together. It also might be your f first initial followed by your last name. But ask your administrator what your username is. Not so much what other people see on your phone but what your account name is. So we'll enter this name. Uh, it's for Kim Williams. So the way we have it entered in IP Office is K-I-M-W-I-L-L-I-M-S. Just like that all together. And the password, it has to be probably more than four digits with the newer system. So whatever they uh, have entered for your password or you have entered, um, they can tell you and you'll put it in here. Okay, we've entered our password. And then we get this screen which allows us to change some of the items on our phone. Now you can do a lot of these things on your phone for the most part. Sometimes you can't if you have an analog phone or a phone without a lot of feature buttons and that kind of thing. But uh, what we typically can do is we can change our password, the one we just entered. Um, we can go to voicemail and we can change the password for our voicemail or we can put in our email uh, address if we have voicemail to email set up on the system. So we'll put in K Williams, which I think might be a good name, at gmail.com. Okay. Now, really, I shouldn't do that. In order to get um, the email to work, you usually have to put in your company uh, domain. Uh, it will not work with a Gmail address. So we'll pretend it's XYZ Company, XYZ Company.com. There. That'll work a lot better. We do a save. Data has been saved to the system. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Scrolling down, we have more items we can change. We can turn our Do Not Disturb on or off. And then we can also add particular extensions that even if we have our Do Not Disturb on, they can still get a hold of us. So, for example, we'll put in extension 203. We're extension 201. We're going to let extension 203 come in. So now they will be able to call us even if our Do Not Disturb is turned on. We can turn it on here, or typically there's a button on your phone. Press save. Mobility. Mobility is pretty much your cell phone. That's what people will use it for most. So what we need to do here, if you wanted to twin to your cell phone, and when we put on yes, that'll mean uh, it'll ring first at your desk and also at your cell phone. And you'll also have a code to change between the uh, cell phone mode and the phone mode so that uh, you can start a call on your desk and then press your twinning button and it'll automatically go to your cell phone uh, without even hanging up or putting the people on hold. So this is where you put in your phone number. We'll put in 91414555212. That's a good number. We have to put in the 9 for an outside line and it's usually a good idea to put in the whole prefix, area code, and the number. Forwarding. We don't have forwarding on now, but if we wanted to, let's say forward over to another extension, 203, or even forward to an outside number, you can put in the 9, 1, etc. Um, we typically forward unconditional. So we can press yes and then save. We're not going to turn on forwarding right now, so we'll leave it on no. But we like it at 203. Personal directory. This is where you can add uh, things to your directory. On your phone, you'll have a directory button that looks like a small book if you have a newer type phone on the IP office. So very simply, we're going to put in a phone number here. Add. We'll call it, we'll put a name on it. Let's see, speed dial. If you have a number of speed dials, let's we'll call this, this will be number, let's see, we'll cancel out of here. So this will be the fourth speed dial. So we'll put number four, speed dial number four. 
actually starts with zero, so let's make it three. We'll just say John, and we'll put in some sort of a number. It'll be an outside number, nine, one, four, one, four, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, nine, nine, nine. okay, add. So now we see John is actually our third number. We can put the numbers in here because that'll allow us to dial it quicker if we actually have an entry here for the speed dial number. If you don't have a number here, then you can still access it from your book icon, which is the directory. It starts, and then when you get into the book icon you, on your keypad, you can start spelling John. Now, for example, John would be, if you dial, just look at things here, five, six, four. So as soon as you put in five, six, four, it'll probably say John on your screen. Okay. So, the next thing we'll do, which is very useful, is changing your buttons. Now, a lot of times uh, your phone will have maybe eight buttons down the side of the phone. Maybe you'll have six here and six here, four here and four here. Then you have a large button in the middle of your phone with left and right arrow keys, and you could scroll over to a second page of buttons, for example. So, on this particular phone that we're using, it has eight buttons. Let me just check. Yep. It has eight buttons per screen, so you can see the first eight right away on your screen. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. And then if you use the right arrow key, you'll see the second group of eight, all the way up to 16, for example. All right, whenever you see a lock icon next to a particular button programmed on your phone, that means your administrator has made you part of a group and you're sharing the settings uh, on a template, for example. If you wanted to add some things, you can add them to the lines or the buttons that do not have a lock feature on them. So let's say you wanted to add uh, extension 208, for example. So let's add a, a 208 user, extension 208. And what that is, is uh, when you have a user button here, you can use, you can press this button and it'll go directly to them. Or you can use the transfer and then hit the button and it'll transfer over to them. Or you could also, there's a light next to it so you can see if they're on the phone or not, or on do not disturb. So let's add one for another extension click on it, label, we'll call it Tony. I'm not sure we have a Tony. Let's see who we have in here first. We have a user. Okay, user's good. And now we'll select the user. Oh, okay, Linda Carter. Let's use Linda Carter. So let's change the label over to Linda. So we'll say Linda right on our screen. User, Linda Carter. Okay. So now Linda's there. If we go to the phone, we'll see after we save it that Linda has now appeared. We want to add another one right here, maybe a feature of some kind, like a conference, or we'll see what we have. Let's see what kind of things we can do here. Call pickup is a good one to do. And we'll just call it pickup, so it'll appear on your screen as pickup. Put it on here. So if you hear a phone ringing nearby, you can press call pickup, and you can pick up your neighbor's phone if you know they're away and they want you to cover for them. So now that's in there. Um, if you press this button, and copy it over to another location. So let's make another Linda. We'll hit copy and then press another one right there. And then we can probably do paste. Let's forget I did that. Okay, we'll save it. And now Linda and now Linda call pickup are part of our group. And now Linda and pickup are programmed on the phones. To get out, all we have to do is press log out. Yes. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for sh thank you for watching our tutorial on using the web interface for your own personal phone on the Avaya IP Office using release 9.1. This is Jim with IP Office Techs signing off. Bye.